What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Carnage Idiot UK and welcome back to another video. This is a Fallout painting. Uh, yeah, this is the Vault Boy from Fallout. So, most of you pro by now probably know what Fallout is. For those of you who don't, welcome back to society! <laughs> um, well, where do I start with that? Fallout is a game. Oh, you probably don't know what a game is either. A game is like a moving picture. It's like a story where you control it and you decide the outcome. That's the best I can do without explaining all day. But Fallout is a story of a post-apocalyptic world. Uh, it's kind of a... It was set in kind of a steampunk age, in my opinion, like, the cars look very modern, but aren't, and they're nuclear, and, yeah, it's a, it's a futuristic world, I guess, and the world ends through nuclear disaster. Now, the one, I, that's the title, that's the title, Fallout, nuclear fallout and such. The character I'm painting is Vault Boy, or Pit Boy, if you look at it. The Fallout Bethesda's um, legal document, but it's Vault Boy. That was an error. Vault Boy is a character within the game. He is the poster boy for Vault Tech, who are known for um, well, lots of experiments, and obviously built the vaults as well, which you tend to start in. You take up residence until you go out into the world to explore. Fallout 4 is based in a Vault 111, which the experiment is to see the effects of um, freezing, I forget the words, <laughs> um, to see what would happen to the human body and how to freeze people over a long period of time. I think uh, Fallout 3 it was a vault to test the effects of a normal society over a long period of time. Very good games. I enjoy them a lot. Very uh, explorative. Lots to do in them. And yeah, I have a lot of fun with them. Now as for my painting, I think I did very well with it. Um, I've gone for the Vault Boy. I got the shading down pretty good on him if I do say so myself. The shading with the shading on his jacket for example looks great. Because if you notice I did some shading of his shirt down, well his jumpsuit down the right hand side. And I managed to get it to shade into the yellow as well, so the yellow was shaded, unlike my Naruto painting last week. Much better shading, looks a lot better. As for the Fallout text, the Fallout text I tried to give it like an old plate feel to it. And again, I think that came out really well. It was a combination of really light and um, yellow ochre. With some dark yellow ochre for some fade and rust and such. And then I used a bit of white on the black to give the text a chipped feel to it. The background didn't come out too well in my opinion. I tried to do like a... Uh, they do it a lot in Fallout. Like a nuclear smoke kind of effect. Which is... Obviously lots of various greens in like a cloud form and such. And I kind of messed it up. Still looks like a really good ba background, don't get me wrong. There is obviously all the green there with black. And it does look good, it just doesn't look like the mist I was going for. But I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, I haven't done a game character in quite a while. So this was... A good result and yeah I had a lot of fun so 
hopefully you enjoy it and you like it. I'm currently working on something else again. Well, I've just worked on another anime one. I do, as you haven't probably have noticed by now, I do enjoy my anime ones. I do game ones once in a while. I enjoy my games. But I really enjoy doing my anime ones. It's probably the majority of my collection. But next week is going to be Satoko from Higurashi no Nako Koro Ni. Translates to When They Cry. And I'll be working on that. I got some other things to work on as well. And other. Well, I got a lot. I got lots and lots. Um, I'm still currently developing for next month, which next month obviously is October, so I'm going to try and do some horror ones, and it's going to be great, and everyone's going to love it, I hope. But for now, that was Vault Boy from Fallout. It looks, in my opinion, like a poster, which is what I was going for, kind of a poster look for Fallout, or it could have been a poster look for Vault Day. Either way, it looks very good, and I like it. Hopefully, you liked it as well. And if you do, don't forget to come back, because there will be more. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Don't forget, I'll be streaming during the week as well. I will stream some art, and I will also stream some video games. Well, I stream a lot of video games, but I'm most... I mostly stream video games. I just do art in the middle of the week as well. That's how I do it. But I have a lot of fun with it, which is what's important. So you can check me out on twitch.tv forward slash carnage88uk. That is where I stream. I stream on Twitch. I love Twitch. Twitch are amazing. I am affiliated with them now. So that means there's some added bonuses. I still haven't figured out what I want for my emoticon my custom emoticon yet but i will and it'll be great i got some sound effects coming in my stream which are going to be great and i got some other stuff as well planned now if you turn on, you can turn on notifications on twitch.tv or you can turn on notifications on twitter and follow me on twitter which is at garnet88uk also on instagram with the same name I'm sensing a pattern here. I am Carnage 88 UK everywhere. Um, <laughs> so yes, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. Instagram gets my art, like, they get my art on a Thursday, and Twitter gets a tweet whenever I go live. I do hit the retweets as well, but it'd be good to have you guys retweeting and liking the post as well but hopefully you did enjoy it and hopefully i get to see you all in my stream or in the next video thank you very much for watching and don't forget have a wonderful minute a wonderful second and a wonderful day just keep being wonderful thank you all and bye bye